This sequence of numbers is called Grandi's series. You take one, then subtract one, then add one, all the way to infinity. If you think about it intuitively, then we can assume that the sum, the total when you add all these numbers up, is going to be equal to zero or one. We can actually prove that the series could be equal to both. If I put brackets around pairs of ones so they add up to zero, then we have an infinite amount of zeros being added together, which would equal zero. Alternatively, if I were to put brackets around every pair of ones except the very first one, we would get a single one added to an infinite amount of zeros, which would equal one. This paradox is called a divergent series, which is a series of numbers that doesn't have a set sum. No matter what way we look at this, both zero and one could be a correct answer. But what if I told you that there was another answer? If we can call the sum of the entire series S, then we can say that the entire series is equal to s. Now let's subtract both sides from 1. The left side of the equation looks oddly familiar to what we started with, because it's equal to s again. We can substitute the infinite series for its sum s, and now we have a much simpler equation. Let's add s to both sides, and we end up with 1 equals 2s. If we divide both sides by 2, then we get 1 half is equal to s. If we substitute the infinite series in for s, then we find our mathematical solution. 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on and so on is equal to 1 half. But how does this work? It doesn't seem to make any sense. The truth is that math and science and nature don't always behave how we'd expect them to. If you want to learn more about why math doesn't always work the way we expect it to, watch this video about quantum physics. Thanks for watching.